and your commentary shows. I just want to do this fucking podcast. <laughs> well, re- record it then. I'm recording right now. <laughs> well, then get going, son. I've had to quit playing this game. What's the, like, f- what's the first what? topic? First topic. Oh, James, I did ask this when your computer reset. I said, so, James, now we're recording. What's your opinion on um, Eminem's new album? And you didn't say a word. <laughs> it's because my computer crashed. I know. Um, I don't know. It's not for me. Not for you. It's not for me. I mean... I mean... <clears throat> some good, <clears throat> there's some good flowage. <clears throat> the, f- the first song... Um, of which the the name of which I can't remember. The Ripper. It, it's not. Is that actually called the Ripper? Are you having There's me on? I literally just saw um, the Ripper. Ringer. The Ringer. I, I I saw Rip X in my thing, and I was like, I never goes with that. Um, the Ringer is good. Um, but apart from that, all of the choruses just make any of the other songs unlistenable. However, however good they might be. All the choruses ruin it. Like the greatest, the chorus on the greatest is horrible. Don't don't know if you've heard it, but it's just um, so bad. Uh, as I said, like I've listened to it, but I've not like I've had it on in the background, I've not had it on. Um, I've not had it on like full full brain. Nah, the the chorus on the greatest is so bad. It's like, oh, I couldn't even. Uh, it's cringe. It's cringe worthy. Like, the rapping on the song is not too bad, but the chorus just makes it the most unlistenable thing. And then the only song with a credit credit creditable chorus, the guy who sang the chorus hated on the song. So it's just like. Damn, son. Is it is it is it worth praise? Um, if someone on it doesn't like it, is... trying to pick out someone in the center. If like uh, there's there's one set of lyrics that I really don't like, and now I can't remember what they are. Is it the Tyler Creator? It's one? not. Isn't I don't like the Tyler the Creator ones, but it's not just that. There's another bit that I really hate. Um, this is going well, isn't it? This is a really good, well oh, put together noise. podcast. That was a great noise. My favourite noise I've ever made. My what noise was that? Why is my computer kicking up an absolute controversy? Honestly, this is just one of our videos, just without the good gameplay in the background. No, no, no. what? I have good game empires. What's up, my? Why is my GPU at 73? Mate, Javier Hernandez is a fucking shit show. Mm. So, yeah, mate, like, I haven't heard it. <clears throat> but, uh. But, uh. I've heard. I've heard mixed. mixed ops. <laughs> he, he went for the whole. Oh, you didn't like my last album. You wanted Shady. Well, here's Shady. But it's like he's trying too hard to be controversial again. Now, because people yeah, didn't like the last album for being non, well, it was controversial, but it was like politically controversial. He's yeah. like, I feel like he's trying too hard to prove a point when he doesn't really have a point to prove, or he thinks he doesn't have a point to prove, but it sounds like he does. When I got to university, I had this little box by my door, and I had a code on it to enter online, see if I won anything. So I'm going to do it live. What are you doing, Dad? I'm doing some at live to see if I want. Are you calling M&M? No, 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 no. If... When I arrived at university, there's a little box by my And it was like a, um, enter this code online, see if you want anything. Oh, and one? I thought you said, said want anything. Enter this code if you want anything. <laughs> Apart from it's asking me to enter this. It's asking me to put what university. It's University of the West England. Of the West of England. Well, 
Ooh, he's not nice slow to wind. Keeping the wide attack going. Honestly. Honestly, honestly. You James should be honest, G. One. Huh? Yeah, go uh, on then. Tell me. For one, then. Yeah, tell me. I don't know, mate. Yeah, I've got a <laughs> fucking waiting. Oh, I've got an answer fucking survey. I may. I love surveys. Oh my god, there's so many questions. Kill me. Oh, fuck me. Uh, how do I rate mine? I give it a 2 out of 5. What are you rating? It's asking me like it's asking me if I prefer beards or not. Why? Do I have tattoos? Yeah. What of beard? I only, only want to know if I fucking if I want a fucking Amazon Echo. Oh, Amazon Echoes are trash, mate. Get get a Google Home Mini, everyone. I dare you. How often do I exercise? Never. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be fair, you've got a gym membership and I don't, so. Do I smoke or vape? Do you? No. Is that true? Can I put both? Social media is good. I wish these apps I usually on today. Messenger. Oh. Twitter. Instagram. Oh, I love Twitter. Twitter's my favourite. Coke or Pepsi? Dumb question. Is that actually a question on the questionnaire? Yeah. And you answered? Coke. Right. I'd say Coke, unless you start getting into the Diet Coke, Coke Zero versus Pepsi Mac, Max debate, then Pepsi Max is taking it every single day of the week. Yeah, I understand. Because Diet Dude, Coke and Coke Zero Dude, is asking me deep questions, asking me if I want Brexit or not. <laughs> and what are you saying? Do I like Donald Trump? Ra, why is it asking you this? Do I trust Boris Johnson 100%? <laughs> Do I involved? No, I don't trust Theresa May. She was a fish. We, right. Remember when politics used to be politics and not our fucking prime minister dancing in Africa? <laughs> yeah. If like, I've done all this and I've got nothing, I'm gonna be. F what What is going on with the world, my man? Let's Let's take this back to a serious route. This podcast, because like, actually, what is happening? In our country. Oh, you're bad. The thing is, I'm going to be commentating a lot on my FIFA game because that's just what happens when I play FIFA. <laughs> do, do you know what? I still don't know if I've won. <laughs> this might as well just be a FIFA gameplay. I don't want to do a mental health quiz. Rah. Have I won? <laughs> it's not told me. Okay. Josh, mate. I'm going to need you to get back to the podcast. And yeah, I thought people would want to know, like... Uh, I thought people would want to know. People don't know who you are, all right? Oh. <laughs> so they don't, don't care if you won or not, because they don't even know you go to uni. Hi, I'm Josh Sawley. I go to university. I'm five eight inch. You, you what? <gasps> Hi, I'm Ref, that's a penalty. Okay, going back to my opinion of the MNL. Of, of the Omanum? I think. Wait, what was that thing I said to you ages ago that no. you thought was real? <laughs> like, Hi, I'm Eminem. I gave your bitch an Eminem and I was just. Honestly, I watched 8 Mile trying to find. Right, I watched it. Twice. My name Eminem. I gave your girl an Eminem and them. And then he did Eminem and Eminem and Oh, that's so good. Fucking, I watched 8 Mile. I never watched 8 Mile before. So I watched it twice. And I was like, am I just not a... seeing it in this film? <laughs> it was a vine. <laughs> and then I Googled it and I just see this guy going, give you a bitch and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I've played. I've wasted three hours of my life on a simple fucking Google search. No, you're not wasting your life watching 8 Mile. 8 Mile is a good film. Twice, maybe, is a waste <laughs> in a short space of time. But no, because it was like a year. Like it came back to. <laughs> you're just, you're a plastic fan, mate. We're not plastic fan. No, what, what were you gonna say originally about the album? Go on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I see. I was gonna say um, it feels too much like he's trying to prove a point while rapping about how he's got nothing to prove. Yes. And it really bothers me that he's like, I'm the greatest, but also like, I'm gonna out rap and then call everybody out at the same time. He's like, You're not you're not fucking like me. 
I'm fucking like this, but then like at the same time, like Eminem was good when Eminem was like rapping about what the fuck he wanted, and now he's trying rapping about everybody else trying to prove a point. Yeah, he like, also just seems really, really salty at like Lil Yachty and stuff um, because he didn't sell as many albums as them. Yeah, I don't get why. Like he keeps just, like anyone who's coming up, he's just like putting them down. He's and then like, wait, because he was like, oh, I hate mumble rap. Not hating, but it's just not my thing. And I'm like, okay, well, don't talk about it then. He's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just, like, just you're, leave him alone. You're the kid, you're the kid cutting about. Like, I, I'm not a huge fan of Mexican food, but you don't see me every... Mexican food? Fuck Mexican food. Although you, you, have, you have just seen me sprout out some disgusting Mexican food. I don't. I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. Um, there's this bit where he's like, uh, "Why are you talking about the culture? I inspire the Hopsins' logics. Six nine, uh, six nines, five <laughs> five nines, and the Coles or something." I'm like, "Well, are you really that proud of inspiring Hopsin?" Mm. yeah and people like other people he's like that's what i mean like he's talking about like who he inspires like talk about who inspired you and shit like that like talk about yourself like don't talk about other people like it seems so much about other people and what he's done like j cole made um let nash down talk about like how he felt about his inf like how he felt like he was influencing people but you no know, how he felt like people influenced him but then but then Nas didn't come back with a song like I fucking inspired you do better like this is what it is and that's like my whole thing like I, I don't like any rapper who's like half like half of their performance like half of the song is just talking about and calling out other people like that's why I started to like dislike hot I felt like every hot was him just trying to call someone else out yeah I he is always trying to prove how other people are worse rather than how he's better like and the reaction I saw from the album today, didn't care. They was like, okay, like Lil Zan was like, yes, yeah, a diss, but it's still a banger. Like he didn't care, and I'd like, I doubt Lil Zan cares about fucking anything. He could like slap him in his bone with a face, and he'd have no fucking. Well, it's the same thing as the the Tyler thing. Like Tyler's not gonna care about. Yeah, Tyler's not gonna care that he called him a faggot. But like at the same time, why call him a faggot? It's yeah, and I it's, know, like, it so sort of people, feels like I he's mean, just like, he's just doing it just because he thinks he can, because yeah. people want him to be the old Eminem that used to, uh, say those sort of things. It's like well, that's, the way that's... I did it was like if a new if a new rapper put that album out, would it have had the same effect? Like, would people care if Tyler Crater put that album? Out? Like, is the name bigger than the music? And I think that's it. Well, uh, yeah, that's also the thing. The people that are arguing just about it going number one, it's just like, yeah, okay, but that's because he's Eminem, not because it's yeah, a good like, album. Like, like, it's got more plays when it comes out. Cause whereas if I released an album today and lyrically it was better, I'm not saying that I could do, but if it was somehow... People are going to fuck to it on day yeah. one because they don't know. Like, it's not the quality of it, it's the knowledge of it. Like, yeah. more people listen to this, they listen to it. They're not listening to it. It could be sick, it could be shit, but the same amount of people are going to listen to it when it comes out because of who it is. So, the whole argument of, oh, it's a classic, it blew up on day one, doesn't matter because his last one blew up on day one, and yeah. so many people are like shitting on that now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's just... I don't know what to think about the kid. Yeah, and like I'm the first person to like hate on like the new age of rappers. I was the first person like I'm to like, jump on six like Lil Pump. Like, but I've got the ones of them I like. He might be trash music, but I like Lil Zan. Yeah. Like Lil Skies makes makes songs for days. And yeah. then like. 
those are like the 20 to 23 sort of age bracket like all that lot of like that little generation like for little yeah. pumps what 18 uh 17 18 yeah Lil Xanas 21 <laughs> Lil Skies might be younger Lil Skies are 20 like they're that age bracket and like that's like the music they brought up on because they were brought like what they brought up on the same music as we were yeah which, like the M&M's the 50 cents like the sort of like 20s sort of rap but you're not going to replicate that rap like Eminem isn't making the same music as like Cypress Hill was, or the same music as like Grandmas, well not Grandmas, Flat, like you're not making the same music as those people. What? Do you know what's fucking weird? I'm Emin annoying. Eminem gave a shout out to Cypress Hill on his last album. This album, he dissed them. Yeah, like, I understand opinions change and stuff, but like, when you put yourself out there forever, you need to be consistent. I just didn't know what the kid was up to. Hmm. But like, as I'm saying, like, there's clear generation. I don't like, think I've listened to a single Cypress Hill song, by the way. Uh, insane in the membrane, that's pretty sick. Don't think I've ever heard it. The hate on me, this is where I get hated on. Oh no, like, if you haven't heard it, you haven't heard it. Like, you can't be hated not hearing it. Well. But then, like, it's also weird because, like, Denzel Curry is only two years older than Lil Zan, and there's, like, a clear artistic difference. Yeah. But Lil Zan fits in, like, the category of, like, 20-year-old rappers. But, like, Denzel Curry is in a like, weird sort of, like, shift phase, like, where he's not quite, like, Cole, J.I.D., Drake, like, the ones that come up on, like, sort of, like, the rap hip-hop blend. And like the twenty year olds are on like like kinda of like just off the end of like trap music blend. Then yeah. Curry's like the weird mix in the middle where like when he was doing music like when he was listening to like the music he's grown up on, getting sort of like the best of Eminem, but it was also when like other artists started coming through. Yeah. Which is why his music's like normally high energy, but like, so like what his... it's all focused on what you're brought up on. His new album is like completely different to any of his other music, basically. I'd well, say... Apart from like Sumo, Sumo is like very similar. To, it's almost like an ultimate part two. Yeah. Um, but the rest of it, and what he said on on Twitter about it was um like he he tried something different and it showed him sort of who was actually a fan of him and who was just sort of like riding with him for the for the wave and the clout like because this was more like real and like yeah you know like yeah so like the music you make is influence on the music you grew up on but you develop it like that's why like jay cole says he listens to jay-z and that's why cole's very like hip-hop like, like very rap but like he's taking it up like and that's why like the whole eminem like listing people he's influencing bothers me because like jay cole never said eminem was an influence mm. like jay cole's only what seven years younger than Eminem, like when J. Cole was already finding, like, he'd already had like his influences. Yeah. Like, that's why it's a bit like, that's my whole like problem with Eminem now. Like, he's saying what he's done, but he's not like he, doing it. He seems very preachy. Well, like, I don't mind, like, I don't really mind stuff that's too preachy. That like, I don't mind having this bit driven on him. It might have something driven in me, but, uh, like, I don't know, there's just a way of doing it, like, just keep telling me you're the greatest ever, it's just gonna, it's just gonna bother me, just, like, prove it instead. Hmm. I, I can definitely say, though, that this was better than, 
revival. Oh yeah, for sure. I've um, forgotten the name. Kamikaze. Do you know I just read? Which has blown my little mind. Go on then, hit me. J. Cole um, was once <clears throat> the support act for um, Teeny Tampa. Really? Yeah. It's funny how their careers have different, gone different. <laughs> <laughs> Teeny Tampa's last album was meh. It is, well, it's always going to go similar to how it's gone, isn't it? Really? Yeah. But then, like, I don't know, I feel like we got a lot of like good upcoming rappers. and What, in the UK? No, like, not in the UK, I'm sorry, the UK scene's died fast. No! Well, no, it, it has. hasn't. It has, like... Okay, no. What's popular in the UK is trash. Like, I'm sorry, but drill music is wild. You go, you go tell 6-7 that their music is trash and come back to me without your face being fucking... Oh, no, like, I know, I know that. Okay, drill. Yeah. But, but the whole point of drill music is like they're about what they're they're saying. Yeah, no, that's, like, that's the whole point. It's just dumb because like the amount of drill rappers that end up, the amount of drill rappers who like end up like, like they're rappers making like music about like how fucking hard they are. Probably like they're like they kitchen window while like, they're carrying a knife. But the drill rapper next door is also doing the same shit. That's drill music. The best, the best drill song ever released got released today, and it's LD from Six Seven. Who can we just talk about? His name was Scribs, and Scribs got banned from making music for promoting like violence and bad messages and stuff. So he just changed his name and put a mask on and kept on releasing music. Um, and he released a song with Dizzy Rascal today, and it's honestly it's the best drill song to ever ever be made. The best UK drill song to ever be made. Mm. Mainly because like, Dizzy Rascal, to be fair. But yeah, like I don't know, I just don't like like music really. That's fire. That's fire. I'm not like I don't know, like the music that's up and coming like these days, and like coming from America is like mumble rap, and like. It's not like I don't hate it because it's mumble. It, the, like a lot of people, rightly so, hate it. It's like, oh, like there's fucking mumbling. But like, yeah, that's fair. But at the same time, like, there's a reason it's fucking popular. Like, I'm not the one listening to it. But like, what? there's a lot of people who do like it. The thing is, like, I have a respect for, like, I can enjoy different types of music in different types of occasions. Yeah. So, like, sometimes you want, like, a singer singing a song. Sometimes you want a proper rap song with, like, bars and whatever. Sometimes you just want a rap song with a good flow, no matter what they're saying. And sometimes you'll just want, like, a hype rap song, which is, like, a little pump and whatever. Yeah. So, like, mm. people... I just don't understand how people can't appreciate different types of music and they're always so, oh, everyone's got to be a fucking preacher in their music and whatever. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't listen to Lil Pump. Like, I just don't. Like, if, it's like, if they're not spitting lyrics like J. Cole and old Eminem, then they're trash. Like, it's, there's different needs for different times. People can listen and enjoy different things. Like yeah, hundred percent. Like as I said, I don't listen to Little Pump, but I still do listen to people like like that. Like I do listen to Rosanna. Some people's minds worse. Well, like there's there's people that would be considered as like old hip hop fans, like Nas, Tupac, Biggie, Old Eminem, Dr. Dre, Fifty Cent, Snoop yeah. Dogg. But then nowadays they're like big fans of Lil Peep, X, like stuff like that. Like, I don't know. I can appreciate, I can appreciate old hip hop. I can appreciate the new 
lyrical hip hop with quotation marks because there's not a lot of it. And I can appreciate Lil Peep, Lil Skies, you know, all these all these boys that are out there. Yeah. Doing their own thing. I don't know. It's... Yeah, like, and there's a way to go about it. And I think J. Cole did it well when he was, um, like, it wasn't a Lil Pump diss track. It was like him saying, like, how he felt, but he still wasn't being like, oh, you're making shit music, like, fuck that. Like, he was yeah. just like, I see you're working hard and, like, I respect that. But, like, at the same time, just, yeah, like, but... know that you've got to appeal and know that you've got to, like, keep on going. Like, you can't just have, like, Lil Pump can't just make Gucci Gang and that. Like, he needs to keep going. No, but uh, to be fair, a lot of what people call the trust musicians are the ones that are, you might say they're not putting in work because they don't put as much time into their songs because they're not as well written. But it's like, they, they're they putting out a lot of music, which takes time to make. Yeah, like it's not always about the middle. Like Chief Keef, he's not an amazing musician, five albums this year. Gucci Mane, he was in prison. He's not an amazing rapper. He put out a shit ton of music from prison. Like... Yeah. Like... Oh, fuck. It's Prick. Hi, <laughs> Mr. Penoy. Yeah, you just gotta do what works, like... As I've said, like... I like a lot of artists. Um, like, probably some of my favourite musicians right now. Josh A and J. Cole. And like just for, I'm just gonna quickly look up how many albums they put this year. Um, this year he's put out four albums. Um, one, um, two of them are collab albums with yeah. Jake. Yeah. This year Jake Hill has put out four albums, two of them being collab. So like before between the two of them they have six albums, including like the two collab. Yeah. Like, and these like what twenty year old. Like, I'm not even sure J. Hill is, but like J. Hill's music is, in my opinion, like seriously good. Yeah. Um, it's not like mumble rap. It's not like regular hip hop. It's like lo-fi, but some of the songs are like quite aggressive. Some of them, like "We Die Too," is, in, in my opinion, emotionally one of like the hardest hits, hardest hitting songs that's been made. Yeah. Like. That song took me so by surprise. Like, when I saw it, I was like, "Oh, it's just like Josh A. J. Hill song, or where they like playing on fucking Rust and Nuketown." <laughs> and then like, cause, like, that's their songs. Like, they've got songs like, like "Till It Out," like that. But, like, "Till It Out," no. Anarchy Acres is actually a banging song. <laughs> like, it's just the name of it, like. But at the same time, like. I was expecting songs like that. Like, they did an everyday for a cover. They did, like, stuff like pissing around. It's like, what, like, 2021, as I said, just making music and enjoying themselves. Yeah. But then We Die Too was, like, crazy for me. Just, like, how serious it was. For the, like, these rappers who, like, rap about, like, games. And, like, they're like, like, the Better Off Dead tour we were doing in England is based off their Better Off Dead albums. And like those album covers, are like Cuphead, and like let's just look at a few titles. Oh, like, Fair off dead. Like Fair off dead's got like a song about Faze Banks on it. It's got Gucci Cotton, North Korea, Pennywise, like um, Flex Assist, John Wick. Um, like there's not serious music. Yeah. Like, it's about finding that mix. Like, Lil Pump can't make Gucci Gang forever. No. But if he can find, like, what he wants and what he wants to do and keep that going, then it'll get there. Like, J. Cole can't make KOD forever, which is why he's also done, like, Lost Ones and Hello, and apparently, like, you've got to have that. The, the, the only thing I can give is because obviously J. Cole's had a few albums to like go through and he's done different stuff. Lil Pump's had one mixtape. Like, yeah, like he, he's he got, will, he's he will got explore. So much space. Um, 
I I think Lil Pump will come good. Yeah, like, I think his feature in Welcome day. to the Party was good. Yeah, there's a few there's a few like artists who are about now who I don't think are gonna do. I don't think Trippy Raid's going anywhere. Ooh, no, probably not. <laughs> I I do you know like I don't think um, Wi-Fi's funeral is going. Anywhere. You don't think Wi-Fi funeral is going anywhere? No. Don't. I've never listened to any of his music, but apparently he's supposed to be good from what I've heard. And I hate to say it, I seriously don't think Six Nine's got the intelligence to make music other have, than like. Have you heard his new song? What, Baby? Yeah. No, but like, let's be honest, like Fifi, Kiki, and Baby. Like, it's, um, it's all in like fucking Spanish, bro. So, like, this is what, like, I mean, that's fair, that's something different, but how. It, to me, it's trash, but like people are like it, and it's yeah. something different, I guess. So fair play to the kid. But how many times can he scream fucking Treyway and, and people? Blackie like Stiffy, ah! <laughs> they've just got. To, they've got to have more than one quality that'll bring people back. No one's gonna go and listen to Dero's and Gucci Gang a thousand times. Like in ten years' time, how many like daily plays is Gucci Gang gonna have? Walking trap like a boss. Uh, boss by Lil Pump is going to be the music video of the fucking future, son. Everyone's I mean, going to be listening to it. That's, that's, like, that's a joke, just so we're all clear. But this like rule is like general. Going back into the side by Jacob. People are going back and listening to like. When was the last time you actually sat down the way I am by Eminem? Like that, I mean, Video. That did amazingly well. It like it had controversy around it, but, but how many daily plays is the way I am getting? Mm. Like how many plays it got on Spotify? Um, it's got. It's fair. It's like done well for itself. It's on a hundred million, but like, it's not going to keep up that momentum like how many like I just want to know how many six nines gone <laughs> like Surprise. yeah so like six nines songs a, a fair few of them I've got more listens now where I am better song than any of six nines music but six nines music is doing better now you can't well, just have music for today. What I would like to say is what people were saying about Astro World by Travis Scott and sales don't mean everything. Let me, because I can't come up with my own opinions, I'm going to find the fucking tweet <laughs> that I'm trying to refer to. Oh, what's this power in here, Grande? Uh, never mind. Nothing important. My phone's low on battery. It's not liking this. Honestly, what is going on? Search. I'm telling you to do something. Apparently if my phone's on low power mode, Twitter just doesn't work. Um, but ba you can't... You can't base if an album's good just off sales or not. No, 100%. Like, um, in my opinion, one of the like top 10 like rap songs ever made is um, Never by J.I.D. Yeah. I think Never by J.I.D. is an amazing song. Well, I, I put it top five in my, la in my best rap songs of the decade. Like... It's, it's got two flows, it's got two beats, it's got a switch, it's got the same music video, but it's only on 5 billion views. But it's still building momentum now, it's still being like spoke about. This song came out I, I think two years ago, and it's still going. His, like, his next album still, yeah. slash mixtape could be one of the best that we've heard for a long time. I think... I think so far as it stands, albums of this year, it goes KOD, 
um, Tadu by Denzel Curry. And then it, I'm going to put Eminem third. But that's only because I haven't heard Astro World. But I feel like when DiCaprio 2 comes out, like I seriously think DiCaprio 2 will take third, if not second. I think it's going to be hard for him to beat KOD, because KOD, in my opinion, was one of J. Cole's best albums. Especially with like a song KOD, ATM, Kevin's Heart, 1985, like the Kill Edward song. They're songs for the moment, they're not going to have, like, have longevity, but like 1985 will last, KOD will last, Kevin's Heart will last. I think I put Taboo above KOD. Well, no, that's fine. That's 100% your choice. Um, because it's, it's like, that was Denzel's big taking a risk, like experimenting. Yeah. Like trying to be different. I think it paid off. Uh, it's between KOD and Astroworld for second and third. Yeah. For me. But I do think DiCaprio too could easily like it's so unknown in my head, like where it's gonna be, but I seriously think it will be. It could even go it could even go number like the top. Like, yeah. I wouldn't put it out like I'm not going top because like his last album had so like this is what I'm on about, like his last album never never starts off like chill, but then like by the end of it you can kill someone. Yeah. But then you've got like songs like All Bad and Somebody, which is like Chill as fuck. Do you know what I will say is got to be in my top five as well? What? Yay by Kanye West. I haven't heard that yet. I t- I, I stayed away from it. Just because, like... I love it. I don't know why I did. I love but, it. Like, I still reference underwear by J.O.D. <laughs> like, all the fucking time. J.I.D. Even though, like, no one's going to fucking get the reference. But, like, it's just... That's, the, like, the longevity. Like... How many times are people referencing albums? And, and I just don't feel like people are going to give a fuck about D Rose in like another two years. No. no and like, no. I don't think people are going to actually care about Gucci Gang in two years. Like, it might have blown up and it might have been huge, but like, it's not about. This one, this like all back from my original point of like Eminem. Like, it's not about first day listens. It's not about first day sales. It's about in five years where are they still placing it. Like, in three years' time, are people even going to give a fuck about revival? Even though when it came out, people like Eminem's put a new album out. It's different. It's political. It's cool. And now the same people have been like, it was kind of boring, and it's the same thing over again. And I don't know why he did rock. Yeah. You, like. And I think that's what J. Cole's on about in 1985. Okay, your music's popping now, but that's because you're riding trends. Like, you need to have something that people will go back to in like 10 years' time, which is why people still talk about like the Blueprint 3. Like, at the time, the Blueprint 3 was big, but it's still one of the greatest like wrap up, um, like 2000 to 2010. Mm. At least, in my opinion, anyway. Can we, like, this has just come to my mind, but can we just talk about how trash all of the, um, all of the members of Slaughterhouse's solo careers are? Like, Slaughterhouse as a group are incredible. Like, apart from, like, the, 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 the one that annoys me the most is Royce to 5 9 Raps nowhere near as well on his own albums as even his features. Not even just the slaughterhouse stuff. The features, bad meets evil. He's amazing, and then his his solo albums. He's just awful. Well, not awful, just boring. Yeah. And it annoys me. Crooked Eye is the same. I ha- I like Crooked Eye. But um, not in his solo career. Like, and it's a shame that um, Glass House by Saw never came. Yeah. Because, like, um, Slaughterhouse, the like, their self titled album, and well, Welcome to Our House was a, a really good album. Especially, like, Hammer Dance has maybe best beats on an actual rap song. 
Hammer Dance is just banging in every single way. And it was produced by Paul Bayra. Like, if you're looking to test this, like, if you're looking to test base on, like, Hammer Unless you want to listen to EDM, most likely. My, my only regret in life is never playing Hammer Dance on my sub in my, in my car. In my car. You care? You care? It's my biggest, yeah, my biggest regret in life. Uh, <laughs> I don't care anything else that happens, but this has been it. I don't know. Yeah, it's but just, yeah. if we're gonna talk, talk if we're gonna talk, rappers, top five in the game right now. Uh, because I'm such a massive like. You don't have to put it in an order. Just, just give me five. All right, I'm gonna now. I'm gonna put it in an order. First, I am gonna go J Cole, just because. I love his music and I love like I loved him live and I love what he's doing with Dreamville. Yeah. It's becoming a massive label and I seriously think it's gonna I think when like Basquiat and JRD come to I feel like it's gonna be a label you're gonna hear a lot of. Yeah. Second Second I probably would already go. GID. Okay. Like his double XL was incredible. Uh, it's the best double XL freestyle probably ever. His double XL freestyle was insane. His features were insane. He's had like one album doing bits. Like I don't think a young rapper that like I've listened to has had such a continuous impact. Like he's not blown up on day one. This continuous high price since it yeah and the, the feature was insane um, third third i probably would go kendrick even though he's so hit and miss mm -hmm. fourth um fourth fourth's a horrible spot because like they're not last but they're not like they're not fourth Fourth, 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 fourth. It's a hard one. Fifth, I'm definitely going down. Fifth, he's not, Curry. he's not done it long enough to prove it to me. Okay. Fourth. Um, I'm gonna go. It's gonna be a bit of a strange one, for sure. For fourth, but I am actually gonna go, Kyle. Okay. Just because I feel like Kyle make Kyle makes music for like. Like seeing anything of Kyle live, instantly amazing. Kyle's music and his music video. Um, he's like that fun rapper who like you listen to when you're like in a good mood. Yeah, makes you feel even better. Like his last three albums have been good to great. I'd say his last album was definitely the best out of three, but like two before that were insane. Um. He's like doing bits live, like playing Nintendo with Logic Live. <laughs> like, people like to go see that shit. Like, it's not just rap around him, it's like the whole, like, this is Kyle thing. Yeah. It so, is. same question to you. See, I've had time to think about it, and that's not made it easier. That's actually <laughs> made it harder. <laughs> I know the fourth one hurt me. Right. I'm going to, right, I'm not going to put mine in order. Just straight out. I'm. Yeah. I might put them in an order afterwards, but I'm gonna spit out names to start with. Yeah. And just see where we go from there. So straight away, I'm going Cole Kendrick. Cole Kendrick, straight away. Um. <laughs> I want to put. I want to put Young Jiddy Jid and Curry in there as well, but I feel like that's just. Uh, Maybe whoever you want, bro. Who do I who do I listen to? Who do I who do I who do I love? I also just looked at um, Carl's only got one album out. Turns out a um, 
and Beautiful Loser and Smile were mixtapes. Right. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, that's it. If you ask me in a month after Logic puts out his um, Sinatra 4 mixtape album thing, he'd probably be in there. But at the moment, I'm not going to put Logic in there. Um, because I don't like don't like his last album. I'm going to keep that on the hush. I mean, you just said it. <laughs> I do. It's just not. I don't know. Cole Kendrick. Jiddy Jid and Curry. I don't know if I want to put Jiddy Jid and Curry in there. This, right, this, Think of Sirens. You this, name it. It's Curry. Right. Yeah. Right. No, that's, that's a different discussion. Uh, <laughs> okay. Right. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Kendrick, number one. Ooh. I'm going to go Cole, number two. I'm going to go Curry Jid, three and four. Then I got no idea how I'm going to go fifth. Chance. Chance? Yeah, Chance is a good shout, actually. It's yeah. been such a long time since so I heard anything. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go Kendrick Cole, Curry Jid, Chance. Yeah, that's fair. And that's coming from someone that didn't. and wasn't a massive fan of Colouring Book. This is also coming from the person who told me. You have to say that one again. You cut out there. And this is also the person who told me that JID was the biggest load of fucking trash he'd heard like two years ago. <laughs> 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 like when Never came out, I was so funny. Don't, like, it's literally shit. <laughs> don't expose my past. <laughs> <laughs> and now like you're like, I was, a, me one day. I was a different man. All right. You, you messaged me one day, you're like, I hate to say it, but Never's actually a fucking album. Yeah, but... <laughs> Two years, two and a half years ago, I would have told you that Drake was the best fucking rapper in the world. All right, so leave me alone. Yeah, fair. Because he's clearly okay. not. Yeah, like. Is a f all right. When was the last time I showed you who my top five artists were on Spotify? Not that long ago, was it? You'd be able no, to tell me who they were. Probably. What do you think has been the best? What do you think has been the best rap song you've heard this year? This year? Yeah. Come out this year or listen to this year? Come out this year. Sirens. <laughs> you made my life so much harder. Why? Because Sirens just is one of the fucking best songs. But you've taken Sirens, so I'm going to have 1985. Yeah, okay, I'll give you that. Because that just honestly bangs. Um, I'll give a give a shout out to um, 65th and Ingleside by Chance, Workout by Chance, Void by Poya. Um, uh, what's the kid's name? Uh, anything uh, actually no that came out last year never mind on that I'd give an honourable mention to The Ringer by Eminem off his new album that's a good song mainly because it doesn't have a chorus in it and anytime Eminem touches a chorus it's fucking horrible just gonna say that right now the kids should I'm not my honourable mention can you put like like links to like our top songs mentioned. Mate, I'll just fucking play them in the video. Um, oh, that's gonna take a long time to sit through. Fuck that. Yeah, no. I'll yeah. Put, I'll... My honorable mention is gonna be We Die to Jago. Okay. Because I don't think any song has made me feel as much as that song. Everyone, go listen to Press by Justin Stone. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an honorable mention. It's not even a top song, but you listen to <laughs> Pressure by Honestly, I just randomly came across this kid and I liked the song, and then you said, Are you some sort of 
Justin, Justin Stone, Stone fan. Because yeah. Justin Stone, what fucking banger did Justin Stone bring out? I don't know who he is. He looks like a waste man. Justin, oh, Arenas by Justin. But honestly, Press and Old News by Justin Stone, bang. No, you need On Your Own. That is a long time coming, the album, honestly. Incredible. Just when you get a bit of time, listen yeah, to a. Um, have you listened to Don't Know Love by Jay Wright? That. No. That's. That's. That's getting you going. Chewing Gum by Blood Orange with ASAP Rocky and Project Pat. That is a thing. I don't even know if I can say the title of the album it's from because it's a bit dodgy. Um, but it's uh, it's a good song. Mm. And so, there's a lot of good songs. Can we talk about how trash testing was? Testing? By ASAP Rocky, the album. It, oh, do you know what? It took me a while. ASAP Rocky's last couple albums are great. Like, I don't think Long Live ASAP was worth shouting about. His first album is his only, I want to say great, but I'm going to say good album. Yeah, like, I like, I think I like ASAP Rocky more as a personality and a person. I like his features more than his albums. Yeah. Too, like, for sure. Oh, a long time coming. There's a song called... And this is going to be like a little bit of a cute little... Was it that one? Or... It was wrong. There's a Justin Stone song that when... Uh, uh, in Cardiff, I walked to Garrett's house and it was the first song that came on and it makes me think of it every time. Wait, I'm just confused. Did you know who Justin Stone was before I told you to listen to Pressed? Yeah, I know Justin Stone was before listening to Pressed. How? Who the fuck is he? Where did he come I think from? He, I think he's in my top like fifty all time artists. Who is he and where did he come from? I only oh, found out him. about him because um Jay Wright, I found I was looking for copyright free music for my montage and I found involved by Jay Wright. And I used that and then I was listening to Jay Wright on Spotify and it was like, Oh, related artist Justin Stone and I listened to Press because it was his newest song and I was like, This is fire. Justin Stone is a 32nd on my all time artist. Ow. He's, he looks like such a fucking waste man. How's that happened? Talk to me. Because uh, it just is. Just did happen. I mean, I, I give it ratings, but you, you don't listen to Pressed, so I deduct points. <laughs> yeah. I can't rate you. <laughs> no, Justin Stone bangs. Even Justin when pressed. Stone. Justin Stone was part of like. Um, I'm gonna look like, cause like paintings have eras. I'm gonna call it like my blue, my blue area. Mm. Like, I there's a song called um, the old me. But he seems like um, such a happy boy now. Yeah. The old me by Noah North is a tune. Um, but that was a, like another like big song. Like when I just come out of hospital, I if like there's a songs I listen to, and it's like on your own, Justin Stone, the old me, Noah North. Uh, this is when Noah NF's... Cyrus. Sorry, <laughs> this is when NF say um, their obsessions album came out. So it's like it's a blue period of Josh's musical history. Probably why my obscurified rating tells me I got a, like a thirty. A twenty-six point nine percent lower happiness. Than I was. <laughs> yeah, I've never, I've never reached those limits because of Josh Sawley's um, musical blue period. I love, love a musical blue period. Yeah, like if I had to call my musical period now, I'd call it. Um, um, I, I think I'd give mine a, a turquoise. Have we going colours? I'd go beige. Mine's very neutral. Mine's like very sort of like low fi sort of like chill. No, uh, James, put the put the link into my my August playlist <laughs> in the. Yeah, I will do. I def um, definitely won't forget all these links. In fact, no, I'll I'll just send you the link because I'm going to make a playlist. I'm going to call it Beige Period. And just going to fill my music uh, lesson. Yeah. I'm going to start naming all my playlists by colours. <laughs> oh yeah, what's what's Major Key sixteen going to be? No, Major Key 17 is the next one. Oh, is it? I'm on 16. Are you? I, there's, there's I some need... You go back to. That's, it's just gone the first. I need to make a playlist. 
Yeah, same. For, the last, for the September. last one that's, that's been officially added to August is uh, Reborn. Oh, Reborn. That's That's gone in and out of my playlist already. But it is a banger. That's me trying to show off that, that I'm so fucking woke. <laughs> Mate, I'm woke on Justin Stone. Jeez. <sighs> oh, oh, look at that. Sorry, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Album of the Year Freestyle. Come See Me Live. KOD. Album of the Year. Undebatably. Right, now let's talk about that quick. Because Man Like Cole has never been on to drop tracks just randomly. He's, like, he's also never been the one to be that bossy about his own his own album. Well, maybe. Yeah. Like, High but For he's... Hours. And what's the other one? High For Hours and Everybody Dead? Yeah. Okay, I can't remember the name of that song. Um, were supposed to be singles from the fall off. That's what but. this is what I was gonna say ages ago. J. Cole is releasing a mixtape this year. Yeah, and he's got he's along got the with off. his album for next what? year. He's got the off season coming out the mixtape. He's got the fall off. So the kids doing an album and a mixtape this year, and an album next year. Yeah. Logic did an album at the end of last year, a mixtape, and an album this year, and an album next year. These are the mainstream people that are working hard, that are making good music. And they yeah. are the people that deserve respect. But you didn't put them in your top five. Because I haven't heard Young Sinatra 4 yet. And I reckon Young Sinatra 4 will put him in my top five. But the yeah. moment... Because mixtape logic's not... I mean, well, no, it's good, but it's not like... He's sort of having fun. He's not trying hard to be, like, lyrical and good he's just sort of having fun with it yeah which, know, like, which J. I like Cole, J. Cole did tweet like semi beats so everything's getting murdered Man, I'm and then it. like sorry and then like a couple of days later um the album of the year freestyle and I'm but at the same time it is still a it is still a song. Like it's an absolute like if it was on if it <laughs> if it's, it's still a year, song. If an album of the year was on an album, people would be like, that's one of the best songs of the album. I want him to make an album that sounds all like that. Just just go and ham. Just get someone, a, just get someone, a beat and go and ham. Yeah. Someone put out a response, didn't they? Like this guy called Dax put out um Oh uh, I f- yeah, replied. but he made the gayest song in the world with Hobson. Like, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but he did. J Cole's out. Like, it wasn't a diss. Like, he's like what? Like, he's just been like, he. It was a freestyle, and at the end, he decided to shout out his own album. Yeah, if anything, it was more like him promoting the off season because the start of it is like. Of the off season, like coming out, and then he like says the off season. He says the fall off. Like it's more like a trailer for like his upcoming projects than it is like, anything else. Yeah, and then Dax has decided to be like, "Oh yeah, but I'm I'm better than you." Yeah, because like the title card when like the song plays, so what you're about to witness on preparation. The off season. So like this is but, like literally a trailer for it. But who is Dax? Like who's who's replying to trailer? Jurassic Park didn't put out a trailer for Dark World Three, and I don't know. Dinosaur. Sorry. Do you know what we need right? Major Keys Volume Sixteen. There's hundred and forty one songs in it. Songs have got songs have got to do bits to get into one of mine. How many of those do you think are getting transferred to Major Keys Volume Seventeen, which I I'm don't creating right transfer now? Transfer mine between the two. See, I do. I like to keep them going. Right, let's have a discussion of what you would keep in your playlist. What would I keep in my current playlist? 
So let's talk what I've got in volume 16. King's Dead by J-Rock, Kendrick Lamar, Future. You can tell on I'm it, King's Dead going for. I'm excluding it from 17. You're not taking it forward? I'm not. Ben's Truck by Lil Peep, I'm keeping. That is actually... No, that is actually a song. I Re keep saying this. Return of the Rucksack by Stormzy, I'm keeping. Codeine Dreaming by K Kodak Black, Killing. I don't Killing. know. I'm not going to go for every song. This is going to take forever. Um, it's on my screen what I'm doing, so <laughs> people can fucking see. Uh, Taste by Tiger. That's that's a debatable one for me. <laughs> that's a thinker. Games by Kyle. I'm out of Boca Raton. Hmm. I think a song right. I'd carry forward would be R.I.P.X. And that song. Out of sight, out of sight, out of mind is getting rejected. What? <laughs> yeah. That song is fucking wild. I know. I got bored of it though. I mean, yeah, I understand. I've not listened to it in a long time. <laughs> Uh, all these songs. I'm I'm just gonna have to be savage with it. I don't want. No, I'm not doing this now. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not in the right frame of mind. James, mate, here's a big question for you. Who's okay. your favourite artist you found this year? I found this year. That you've like this the first year you listened to them. Oh, it's gotta be Juicy World. No, 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 no. That was a joke, everyone. Um, IDK. Fair enough. Did you do that toilet flush? No. He said IDK. And it makes <laughs> no, IDK <laughs> is an artist. I wasn't just saying I don't know. <laughs> but it was so like well timed. It was like IDK. <laughs> it's like it was the most well timed thing that's ever happened. No, look, where's where's my Discord? Let's let's fucking get some let's let's get some copyright flowing. Um, where are we? IDK. Probably is my favourite that I've discovered this year. Fair enough. That's just because I can't think of much else right now. No, that's a fair shout. Like, if that's what you're feeling, that's what Lil, you're feeling. Uh, Lil Skies I started listening to this year. I like Lil Skies. Oh, yeah, I forgot I found Lil Skies in January. But I've got to say, like, this might be cheating a little bit. But yeah, it's cheating. I can't do that. I'm going to say Rich Brian. Yeah, I see I've been listening to Rich Brian for for a little while now, so I can't can't use that one. I would love to. But I can a keynote. It's a good shout there. I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. Shout man. Uh Josh Yeah. Yeah, it was just me shouting <laughs> you. For fuck's sake. I don't like you as a person. I can't, yeah, it's IDK. I'm going to stick with IDK. I'm definitely going to stick with Rich Bride. Look, it's glow like that. It's mainly because he's got a song with Denzel Curry and it's fucking fire because Denzel Curry is amazing. Yeah, Denzel Curry is well known for putting on like yeah, the Turner uppers. If you want to hear a f like a fire feature, this this is where you go. Where, where is he? They're good martial artists. If you try to hit a foul like Artemis, oh. For the new wave, I started it like a do rag. When you open up the starter kit, oh. Same shit, but a new fly J I P got a motherfucking K on the side. Chucked off now, a nigga lay on the side. Yellow tape, everybody pray on the side. No one's arc, I made my mark. So nigga, make a fire J I D rag. That's that's how you kill a feature. I swear he made a JRD reference as well. What did he say? What, he said um, JRD got a K on the side. Uh, wave uh, now. <laughs> what does that mean? Go on, interpret it. No, I want to know what the song called. Uh, no wave by IDK and. Denver. I just want to know that if I actually heard it right or not. Project um, No. You know, he says T got a motherfucking K on the side. 
I don't know. I, as I said, like, I might have heard it wrong. I don't know what it means. I know, just say um, JID got killed. JID, yeah, he's right, JID. I don't know. Same shit, but a new fly, JID, K got a motherfucking K on the side. ID with a K on the side, also. JID is an Atlanta rapper who recently signed to JID. Oh, he's never seen both. Seen JID ID, and ID. ID with a K on the side also refers to IDK. Fair play. You caught that and I didn't. You know, that's what I'm here for. But um, IDK also used to be known as JIDK. I mean, you're reading the same genius. No, but I also do know that is a fact. Well, I just hope he's on about JID. Because I think JID. Because I don't. Because I don't know if he said. Because it's same shit, but a new fly. JID got a motherfucking K on the side. Like he's saying, it's still IDK yeah, it might, like, is the same as JIDK. I would say it's over for interpretation. But you you missed a possible JID reference that I missed. So well done. I was gonna say it. I was gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. DiCaprio two could be um, the blow up of JID. Yeah. Why not? I was gonna say it like. Well, he he's already slightly blown up just because of being on Double XL. Like. I mean. I mean yeah, slight. But... I mean I say slightly. A lot. The kids got the kids got numbers. The kids got clout. Like. People like from, like a lot of people like um, slump slump mask. A lot, <laughs> a lot of people like ski mask, but like okay, no. Were... Um, see, I was gonna embrace your argument, <laughs> but no. I. <sighs> um, I looked up the Spotify numbers. Yeah, and I was gonna be like, oh, fair play, GID's got. Uh, one million one hundred and seventy-five thousand nine hundred sixty-one monthly month monthly listeners. Yeah, it's decent. Uh, mm. Ski Mask has nearly five million. Oh yeah, but like I'm saying, like on the double XL freestyle, JRD was way better than Ski Mask. Yeah, but well, that's what I'm saying. This is also reminding me in my brain that I. Who did I put in my top five? <laughs> you put, you put Chance, JID, Kenzel, Kenzel, <laughs> Denzel. Um, I want to put Ski Mask in my top five. Oh, who are you getting rid of? Chance. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Uh, yeah, that's. Oh, that's difficult. Five is not a lot of people. I'm sorry, but like, I swear, I need to review the JID free on Genius Quick. I need to see it till now. According to my current top five, I'm a big fan of Travis Scott, Drake, X, Post Malone, Ariana Grande, Kyle, J. Cole, Jeezy, Kanye West, and The Weeknd. Can we talk about Say La Vie, J-I-D, B-E-S-T, with the oh. R-A-P's and R-I-P, your sound O-L-D, I'm O-L-D, I ain't dropped no L-P, I'm so L-D, I know, uh, I know do, OG's drop flows, they were so L-D. Do you want a, um, do you want a live rendition? Because I, I do a perfect impression of the, of the cypher. Which, which person? Oh, J-I-D. <laughs> I, I I refuse to believe that you um, say la vie J I D the whole way through. Wait, you don't letter think by letter you don't think I can do it? No, I don't. Right. Where, where do you want me to start from? I want you to start from the top. From the top, the whole verse. You told me you could. Right. It's just just a bit long. Oh yeah, but can you not say? The explicitories, because I don't want to hear. I can't censor myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear. Pitch it up. Right, here we, okay. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
No, I can't. I'm really scared I'm going to say a bad word. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's, it's safe. No, D does he say bad words in the, in the third word, the N word? I'm just <laughs> I'm P five four four must have come King Kong rumble young man rumble in the jungle trees tumble bees bumble we crumble yeah sling slung wood lumber in the hood system mother freaky feel say la v j i d say i b e s t with the r a p s the r i p your rhymes are o l d i'm co l d and i drop no l b i'm so l d i know a g drop flows it was so l d i make a play o l b make a way against o l d c until it's hard but let us pray and let us eat. See? Banana feet. <laughs> That's what I said. I didn't say the bad word. How is Russ my 16th top current artist? Russ is trash, bro. Above Black Bear, Chance Rapper, Bass the Genius, Gambino. Bass the Genius. To be, right. This is what I'm impressed about. Scarlord is, t is still 27th. Scar Lord's above JRD right now in my current top Bro, 50. JRD is low. <laughs> He's 28th and Scar Lord's 27th. I started pumping JRD was back in Google Music days. So JRD has lost a lot of, lost a lot of clout for me changing platforms. KSI is my 38th current. That, and I'm pretty disgusting. sure he's in the 40s in all time. That is actually disgusting. Yeah, he's 42nd all time. Yeah, but he's... Logan Paul uploaded. KSI. Um, goodbye, KSI. Oh. KSI in my all time is above futuristic Dave, Calvin Harris, Lil Wayne, Cardi B, Ray Shremid, Boogie with the Hoodie, AJ Tracy, and a lot of other people I can't see because it only goes up to 50. A Boogie with a Hoodie is actually a man. Who, who's, who's a shock in my top 50? Tiny Temper's 33rd. Didn't think that would be a thing. That's uh, pretty crazy. I think my shock is a um, motion twist is 8. See, uh, I'm trying to find a shock, but these are all people that I openly admit that I like. <laughs> Where's Ariana Grande? Well, no, like I was going to say, oh, look, there's Scarlord, there's Frisco, there's Shaka. Gucci Mane, Tiger, Giggs, Ty Dolla Sign, Lil Uzi, Smoke Perp. But it's like, I openly in, say I enjoy their music, so it's not a shock yeah, that they're all in the top like, 20. There's not really much, like, spark to it. Oh. But, James, I think we've had a, a lengthy first episode. Do you know what we haven't spoken about yet, though? If, what? Case hi Logan Paul. Right, the next the next episode of whatever this is is just going to be all on YouTube diss track. Yes, that's it. Because I'm uh, like my mind ain't work. This this has been an hour and sixteen minutes. I've opened and shut the fucking window to this room ten times, and I keep looking at it because I'm forgetting which current. All right, let's put put um put the brakes on. I'm on. clicking the Subscribe. handbrake up and turning off the ignition. Subscribe solo. Don't. Actually, no, do, because that's where the next episode will be. Bang, bang. So, probably do, unless you don't give a shit. Oi, oi. Oi, oi, savloi. Giddy, giddy, cap. And that's the end. Um, say something really weird as the outro. Basically, yeah. whenever you finish whatever you're saying, I'm just going to run the outro, so. Oi, oi, Sav, is that your tip I can see from here? Cheers, guys. My 2012 OG Nike Easy's on. All around the world, yeah, they know the G-Easy song. Made to the world. Trying to put my city on, I got you on a verse. Sweetie, what you need me on? Let me know. Sack to the...